Now let us talk about the relative demand curves. Guys, you know this that if W by R is low, that means the numerator would be lower and denominator would be higher, means W is lower. If W is going to be lower, farmers are going to choose more of labor because R is higher, farmers are going to choose less of capital by farmers i mean firms or anyone who is producing uh, so they're using they'll be using more labor because w by r is low w by r lower means w is lower and r is higher and if they're going to choose at the lower w by r more labor that means l by k ratio is going to be higher right so what is FF curve telling you? It is the relationship between the L by K and W by R, which is used in the production of food. What is CC curve telling you? <clears throat> it shows the relationship between W by R and L by K. That is the relative factor price and the uh, your labor capital ratio, labor capital, uh, labor capital ratio in the production of cloth. Okay. So and s and cc curve is shown shifted out it means that for any given level of w by r cloth production is going to use relatively more labor right for any given production of w for any given w by r let's say w by r not the L by K ratio in food is going to be lesser and L by K ratio in cloth is going to be more because cloth is labor intensive and uh, food is capital intensive. So labor capital ratio is more in the cloth production as compared to in the food production. Other thing is that these curves, your CC curves and FF curves, they are downward sloping. They are downward sloping would mean what? They are downward sloping means and they are downward sloping because of the substitution effect. Uh, because of the substitution effect. So as W by R is going to increase, W by R increasing would mean W is increasing basically. So if W is going to increase, farmers will think why to use labor? Let's substitute labor for capital, right? So Oh, sorry, let's substitute capital for labor. So instead of labor, let me just use more capital because W by R is, is rising. So as W by R rises, L by K ratio falls. That's what it is. So that is the reason you have the downward sloping uh, CC curve and the FF curve. One thing is that. Uh, so as W by R increases, Right, producers substitute producers substitute capital for labor, right? And uh, when they're using more capital and less labor, so L by K is going to fall. So the relationship between the two is negative. And that is also one of the reasons that uh, your this is downward sloping. Okay, what about the SS curve? This is telling you the relationship between the relative price of the commodity, relative commodity price and the relative factor prices. Uh, so it is one to one relationship between PC by PF, that is relative commodity prices and the relative factor prices. This is upward sloping, right? Under perfect competition, what is true? Under perfect competition. What is true is that price is equal to marginal cost. And marginal cost itself is the function of W and R input prices, right? Marginal cost itself is dependent upon W and R. So if W by R, W and R as R is going to change, this is going to change the prices. So the changes in W by R are going to be, are going to be reflected in the relative prices. You're getting this. 
W by R is going to change, MC is going to change. MC is going to change, price is going to change. Hence, changes in W by R are directly related to the changes in PC by PF are directly related to the changes in PC by PF, right? Okay, now let me just draw these curves again. So you have the FF curve. You have a CC curve. Uh -huh. Right? So you have W by R here, L by K here. And this is uh, the relationship between the two is negative. And the relationship between this is positive, right? That is, as PC by PF is going to increase, W by R is going to. So the relationship between W by R and PC by PF is, is positive. Okay. Now just think about it. Given PC by PF, on this PC by PF, I can find out what W by R is, right? Given that W by R, I can find out what is going to be the labor capital ratio in both cloth and the food sector. I can do that. Uh -huh. So given PC by PF, I can find out what is relative factor price ratio. Given that W by R, I can find out what is the labor capital ratio in the food sector and what is the labor capital ratio in the cloth sector. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about in case if the PC by PF is going to increase? Let's say PC by PF increases. Huh? Oh, it has increased as much. It will increase W by R. When W by R is going to increase, this is going to reduce the labor capital ratio in both your food and the cloth sector. It is going to do that. So as your PC by PF is going to increase, W by R is going to increase. At the higher W by R, this is going to be the labor capital ratio in the food sector. And this is going to be the labor capital ratio in the cloth sector, right? So what you will find out is that the labor capital ratio has, decli has declined in both food and the cloth sector, right? Uh, both food and the cloth sector. So this is one way. And in case of there is the increase in the relative price of cloth. Uh, so if the relative price of the cloth is going to increase and the factor which is producing cloth more intensively, which is labor, its income is going to increase relative to the capital workers. Okay. Let us also quickly talk about Rivzinski effect. Now what happens is now supposedly this is what PPF is. Uh, and this is what the ISO value line is. So ISO value line is giving me the relative price, hmm? relative price, relative commodity price. Now suppose the supply of labor is going to increase. Cloth is a labor intensive technology or labor intensive good. Food is capital intensive. Mm -hmm. Now, when the supply of labor is going to increase, then what is the most efficient way to utilize this increased supply of labor? You should be producing more cloth because that could be effectively employed, right? So as you guys could see, your uh, PPF, it has 
shifted out biased in terms of cloth axis so it is producing more cloth right so there is going to be there is going to be uh, a shift in ppf but the ppf is going to shift out more in the direction of the cloth why because cloth is labor intensive and labor has increased and labor has increased so if there is an unchanged relative price uh, there is going to be an unchanged relative price then what happens is it is going to decrease the amount of the food production and it is going to hugely increase the amount of the cloth production no so when i say unchanged relative price it means i've just shown that this pc by pf is parallel i mean there is no change in the slope out here no? there is no change in the slope out here. so what ppf has done ppf has shifted out more in the direction of cloth right and at an unchanged pc by pf your amount of the food has fallen and amount of the cloth has increased so increase in labor has disproportionately shifted ppf out more in the direction of the good which is using labor intensively so it is going to be like this so this is what i wanted to do in this class so tomorrow i'll take up a few more things in in this chapter right thank you beta